Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how we can export and import the Excel or CSV files on filament using filament. And yeah, if you go to plugins, you have plugins for them. So Excel export or Excel import, just I search for the Excel and yeah, we have here. But with the filament uh, version 3, you can go to documentation and if we search for uh, export or import, yeah, we have export action and also import action. And let's create a Tavair project and step by step show how we can do that. So I'm going to open my terminal here and say Laravel U. And I'm going to use the filament starter kit. Okay, you can say Laravel U dash dash using equal with TNY LIA slash filament up and it's going to create so I'm going to name it a filament CSV so it's going to create also the project and install the filament now let's wait for the application okay I'm going to install and I'm going to open this with the PHP storm Okay, so I opened the project with the PHP Storm, and for this demo, I want to have a post model and migration and also a category. So the post belong to the category. We have a relationship just to show you how you can export or import that. And to create model and migrations and so on, I'm going to ask the AI to do that so generate a post model and migration with title slack and description and also post belong to the category so create a category model and migration with name and slack simple one now a post belong to category so add the category id the post migration and create the relationship methods on models and i'm going to hit enter go here because what we need is the so level 11 and higher, we need to run the artisan make quibes table and also not notification tables. So I'm going to copy this command on the filament and open the terminal and paste that in. Okay. Now migration already exists, but migration created successfully. We have here for the notification, I think. And yeah. A vendor publish tag filament actions migration and migrate so let's do that and now we have categories as you can see we have categories tables so the ai has created this then we have notification and also post table imports if i see yeah and i'm using now augment because on the last video I just showed you how to install WinSurf on uh, PHP Storm, but also I'm using with this augment, which is uh, very good. Now let's go back and see what we need. Yeah, we need to say, for example, export action make, call the exporter, and pass in here the class, for example product exporter we need to create this class and yeah we can add this in the header actions so on the table header actions add the export action make and exporter also for bulk action we have this export bulk action make and exporter the same thing so we have the same just for well i'm going to show you in the example so creating on exporter we can run php artisan make filament exporter and the name or we can say also add the flag dash dash generate which is going to generate the columns for you so i'm going to copy this open the terminal and i'm going to clean this and paste that in but i want just for the post so let's say post here and it's going to generate that and yeah you need to make sure that you have the model and migration for posts also we need to create a post resource but for now let's just focus on this and yeah defining exporter columns but because we added the generate is going to define for us so let's open the file detailed plan and let's see where the ai i think 
is now complete. Yeah, let's open the post model. And if you see, we have here the model with title slug, description, and the category ID, and also the category uh, method, so belongs to relationship. Okay. And uh, of course, if I open the category, also the category is here. Very good, with a name and the slug and also relationship for posts. Now let me just see the post migration. And uh, yeah, we have title, slug, description, and slug is unique. Description is no label. Then we have category ID constraint on the lead cascade. Drop for you category ID and drop column title, slug, description, and the category ID. Okay, now let's open that X port uh, post exporter and yeah because we added dash dash generate so we have export column make id label id and the created art and updated art and i think this is because uh, the post model was not generated successfully at the time we can add manually them so let's say I want also the title and uh, the slug and also we need the relationship so we can go here and display data from relationships so we can say uh, export column make author name which uh, is okay but yeah let's leave it like this let's come here and say export column yeah for description and also for the category name. We have the relationship category, we can say category name. And this is going to work, but if we import the same uh, file, it's going to add title, slug, description, and here it's going to add category name, but we need the category ID. So let, just let me sh show you. And I think we're okay. So title, slug, description, category name, and that, yeah. Let's close this and let's also ask one more time the AI here to generate category resource or let's specify correctly here, generate filament category resource and post resource. Okay, so here is the post resource and I think the category resource, if I search for category resource, Yes, but I want to fill the form and also the table instead of doing myself. So let's say uh, fill form and table on uh, category resource and post resource. Okay, so post resource and also the category resource I think is okay. Let me just check. Yeah, forms, we have a name and slug, name slug, and created at updated at on the table. Oh yeah, let's close also the AI here, and it's got a post resource. And yeah, we have a form, title slug, category ID, relation category, and title attribute is name for the form, okay? Then we have a title slug and category name, so category.name, very good. Okay, let's see now the project on the browser. I'm going to go to admin panel and I think we don't have any user. So let's say here artisan migrate flash dash dash seed. And we have error here. So one duplicate column name categories. Let's open and we have here categories migration with name and slug and also, we have posts with title, slug, description, and category ID. Then we have add fields, name and slug, and add fields as on the post table. Why we have two of them? So let's delete the add fields here because I think we don't need to. And let's run again this. 
and now we are okay. Let's open and refresh. Now we can log in with a test example because we have by default on the Laravel so test example.com add the password and sign in. Okay, and here we have categories and posts. Go to categories, go to posts, let's create category, create another one, and let's go to posts and create a new post here. Now we have these two categories here. Okay, let's create a new one or let's create another one. I think we are okay, we have three of them. We have also the search here, a filter by category. Okay. And yeah, we have some hidden columns. Okay, now let's implement the export and import. Let's go to overview again, and yeah, we need to add on the header actions the export action which is from the filament tables actions okay so let's do that let's open post resource and here we have actions bulk actions let's zoom it and after the actions i'm going to add also the header actions okay yeah so add header actions and instead of Passing this, I'm going to add the export action from filament tables actions. And here we need to add make, and then we need to call the export exporter. And now we need to pass the class, which is uh, export post exporter, post exporter class like this and let's see on the browser if i refresh yeah export post as you can see we have here and let's see if i try now or let me just zoom it for you so just click on this export and as you can see we have columns id title slug description category uh, created at and updated at let's say export this export started now we need to update something here. So first I'm going to open the admin panel provider. And also here, let me just zoom it a little bit. And I'm going to add here the database notification. So by default, this is not here. So we need to add the database notifications. And let's uh, come here and refresh. Now, as you can see, we have this notification here but also if i export again your export has begun and three rows will be processed in the background and you will receive a notification with the downloaded download link when it is complete but this is not going to work so just let me refresh refresh yeah we need to open the terminal and run the artisan queue listen and it's going to listen for the queue jobs. And if I refresh, now we have two of them. So let's download. We can download as CSV or as a XLS X. So I'm going to choose to download as CSV file. And we can open this. And as you can see, we have here the ID, title, slug, description, created uh, category. Now we have ID, title, slug, description. As you can see, category is as a string name. If we want to import that, it's not going to work. So let's close this and also let's clean this. Now let's implement the import and let's see if that is going to work or not. Let's go to import action and the same thing. We have run the same uh, migrations. We need to create the importer and then use the import action make importer and pass in here the importer class also here we have the automatically generate so let's copy that let's open the terminal open your tab here and paste that in just change the product to be 
post generate and let's open that so import post import like this importer and yeah we have import column for title slack description category required mapping relationship rows required okay yeah let's see leave it as it is for now and let's open the project i'm going to hard to refresh i'm going to select all and i'm going to delete them and then yeah we need to add on the post resource on the header actions also the import action and call here the importer pass the post importer which we need the import here okay and let's come here and refresh and now we have export in post and import post Let let's import the post import a csv file and i'm going to choose this one okay and yeah we have a title which is a title slug description and the category which is category if i say import your import has begun and we're going to see now yeah we have here the download information about the failed failed rows and we can open this and we can see here we have the errors so the selected category is invalid also here is invalid and is invalid let's quit let's clean also this one and now let's go to post yeah and create some posts here create another and create another we have three posts if i come here yes now if i when i export i want to change that the export so post importer we don't need the category resource but the port exporter post exporter we need to change something here on the export column make for the category name instead of this we can say just category dot id or we have on this one we have the category underscore id and let's see if i refresh let's say export post all of them export okay and we can download the csv file which is this one i'm going to open and as you can see now the category has the id 111 because i think all the uh, posts let's see belong to the same category if we select this one we don't have any but if we select this yeah and now i think if we import that so let's delete right now we don't have any posts but let's import posts i'm going to choose this file now which is this export three posts click open we have a title here okay slug description now category has select a column and i'm going to say category id import let's see we have a notification and we have import completed let's come here and now let's refresh the page and we have three posts let's see if it, the posts belong to this category and yeah if we choose this one is this has no posts okay friends that's it just one example a simple example how we can export and import uh, with filament now if you want more in depth you can go and read the documentation on the filament for import and export or also you can leave a comment on youtube what you really want and maybe i'm going to shoot another video for this and that's it all about this video now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best